it's that time again. It's another video time on the channel. Make sure you stay tuned as we go towards the last day of this season. It's been one hell of a season for Leicester. One game to go. It's all on the line. We need to win. We need Everton to draw or lose and we'll stay up. It's as simple as that, folks. Nothing else matters. Only those two fixtures to me. Smash the likes. Hit the subscribe button. This is the latest from Leicester's press conference today with Dean Smith. Injuries. Now, I was hoping that Carol Osiunchi would be back. But I'm afraid to say he is not. He's not back. He's not feeling it. And he's not trained. So Cags is not back for the final game. Which means he probably has had his last game in a Leicester City shirt. Confirmed already to be going Atletico Madrid. What a shame the way that it ended. Because he just got back into the swing of things. And I thought, you know what? Maybe with Cags in the side defensively. I think against West Ham. But look. We've got to move. We've got to move on. And that's the way it is. Updates on KDH. He's been training well. Uh, he's a few days um, from sort of looking like he's going to be available. So we've got a few days left. So it's perfect. It looks like he should just about make the game. But Ricky seems fine as well. By the way, Ricardo Pereira has had a scan. And he seems to be fine. So he should be back for the game as well on Sunday against West Ham at the King Power. Wilfred Ndidi, um, we're still waiting on him. And he's not trained. So it don't look like Wilfred Ndidi will be available for West Ham either. Interesting. So no Cags and no Wilfred Ndidi for the game. So on that basis, I think we'll be looking at a... I reckon it's going to be a 4-3-3 three, three maybe. Everson, Castagna, Foz, Evans, maybe Suter. Depending on Evans and if he was okay or not. He didn't, he didn't mention about Johnny Evans there. Uh, Thomas, because Ricky's no... I don't know, Ricky. Is he going to be all right though? I know, like, he's injury prone. Um, Sumare in maybe for Ndidi and Yuri, Madison, Vardy, Barnes. It's going to be something along those lines. We'll have to look into it. Um, obviously, on match day. Uh, but going into the presser, um, Dean Smith was asked about uh, the Newcastle game and he's not really interested in that now. He just wants to move on from that and focus on the weekend. But they, you know, I thought they played well against Newcastle. Considering how good Newcastle were and how dangerous they were going forwards, I think we defended really well. Yes, we, they could have scored four goals. I'm not going to go into the Newcastle. You can watch any of the previous videos on the channel for that. Um, this is more about right now. Uh, on the players, though, itself, um, Dean Smith has this to say, we've got to make sure that we can do what we do. It's pretty that simple, really. There's nothing else that he can do regarding the other games. Is only focus on, on this one, which is kind of obvious, let's be honest with you. But he is interested on West Ham's changes because they've got the final to con concentrate on the Conference League final um, so who knows what West Ham are going to do I still reckon they're going to play some of their main players to keep them in that form and momentum but Dean Smith said this you've got to get that balance right and that's the key thing we've got to score a goal because without a goal you won't win the game it's very Michael Owen-esque of him um, but I think we need to score first that's the thing um, because we really I'm sick to death of chasing games it doesn't get any clearer for me that's all we need to do now and that's all they need to know that's it that's, that's what he says to the players um on his future, though, at the club, he had this to say. My future was to come in for seven weeks and eight games. That's a question for after this game at the weekend and not before. It depends on the club. Simple as that. And, and he didn't mention that he wants to stay either. He didn't say, oh, I want to stay. It, that's it. So I think he's kept it quite simple there so that it, there's nothing too much to read into. Hence why I can't really give my opinion on that at all um, but it's going to be an important one for the fans at the King Power I think um, we need to be loud and proud at the KP uh, we saw the difference they made against Wolves and Everton I fully expect the supporters will be right behind the uh, the Leicester boys at the King Power now there is a walk as well um, I believe it's from Nelson Mandela Park on Sunday uh, there's going to be flares and scarves and banners and all sorts I think so if you want to have a look at that I'm sure there's some stuff on Twitter to go and have a look at that for um, if you are going to the game um, but 
Dean Smith had this to say on uh, on what survival meant to him. Um, it would in mean incredible pride coming in so late in the season uh, when he came in feeling a, a bit of relief had gone, um, getting a, a win and some points and stuff, but it still ended up being in the relegation zone. To be able to maybe survive, um, you know, it would mean a lot to him, is what he's saying. So, look, Rogers has got away with it. He hasn't going to get a relegation on his CV. Dean Smith will get one on his CV. It's that simple, folks. So not getting one on his CV, you know, he knows what he was taking on when he took the job on. That's fair enough. But maybe staying up will keep that, you know, that that relegation off of his uh, record, so to speak. But if anyone deserves the relegation on his record, it's Brendan Rodgers. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Um, will he follow the Everton score, though? Uh, he, he says he won't need to, but let's go on through. The fans are going to in the King Power. So, as soon as the goal goes in, either Bournemouth end or Everton end, it don't matter either way. The fans are going to know, and that's going to reflect the players. Put it this way, if Everton go 3-0 up in 20 minutes, you can pretty much see Leicester players will frail. I'm just hoping that Everton don't score three at the start, put it that way. I'm hoping that it will just pan out in our favour. Fingers crossed. Uh, message to the fans. We need their 100% support. We're all in the same boat. We're in this together. It's do or die says uh, Dean Smith. Not a lot else to go on there. Um, so just recapping really on the injuries side of things. There will be no uh, uh, Soyuncu uh, for this game and no Wilfred Ndidi are both out for the end of the season, which sucks because Cags was, I think, my man of the match realistically for quite a few games that he's been brought back in. Um, it's an embarrassment on Brendan's part for not letting him in the squad. Um, something's gone on in the back room there to do. I've heard all sorts on Twitter. I won't go into it. Um, but for him to come in, it's made a mockery of Brendan's decision. And I think that's another pivotal decision that's going to cost us Premier League football when we go down on Sunday if we lose. Um, it's a shame. And that will be the last game, I think, that you'll see soon too uh, in a Leicester shirt as well, unfortunately. It's staying up or not, unfortunately, that is that is fact. Um, I suppose we could line up with maybe something a bit more powerful at the back, like five. I know it's at home and we've got to go all out, but we could play like, you could go with Castagna, Suter, uh, Evans, Foz and Thomas as a back five. And you could go Sumare, Tielemans, um, Madison, Nacho and Vardy, maybe. And obviously, Everson, I think I've missed one there. Sumare, Tielemans, Madison, Ian, Nacho and Vardy. No, I didn't. I missed, I didn't miss them. Um, we could go with a 5-3-2, maybe. I'd like to see Nacho and Vardy start, to be honest, and use Dakar as that extra pace at the end if we need it. Um, but, uh, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Are you nervous? I'm absolutely shitting bricks. I'm scared to death. Um, but the weekend is coming. Um, I'm still undecided yet as well if I'm going to be doing a watch-along here on the channel or going to the game. I'm still undecided. I've got a lot going on Sunday morning. I've got football to go to. We've got all sorts of stuff going on. So I, I, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing on Sunday yet. Um, but let me know what you're doing on Sunday, where you're going to be, how you're going to watch the game. Are you going to be biting your nails? Are you going to be keeping your eye on the Bournemouth scoreline with Everton? Let me know in the comments your thoughts on everything coming up at the weekend and who your, <laughs> who your starting eleven will be against West Ham. Make sure you smash the likes, follow me at Lee underscore Chappie and subscribe to the channel. She'll see you very soon. Isn't it the queen?